This video, we did a little concrete slab here and we poured some down the cellar. I'm gonna show you how we did it. Well, this is the major project today. We're gonna dig this grass out and make a concrete pad because they're having a lot of water problems. That's one reason. And gotta get rid of that ring gutter, have the water go out that way. And you gotta take these steps out because as you can see on the top, they're uneven. So we're gonna pour a pad over it. That'll be the job for today. Well, so far they dug it all out and uh, they're gonna smash that concrete up and we're gonna kind of form it and get it ready. Up against the house, just use this product, it's seal seal. You see it, how thin it is? And all it does is keep the concrete from rubbing against the plaster and it won't break off. See, me in a sap, I could just use regular tar nails. The owner came and put the modified in it, and I came to form it. Anytime you're doing forming, you gotta ask, where's the water gonna go? And in the winter time, you're gonna have a plow, so you don't want them to hit. You don't want them to hit this, so you gotta keep it low enough. But if they ever put another driveway in, then you're gonna have a big gully here. You don't want that. So I always want to go a little higher. And I always want to make sure. Water goes where I want the water to go. I want it to go that way. So that's the way I'm pouring it. He's going to come and we're going to tap it and we'll be all ready. Now when I'm working with something like this, i got to pull it out and just get some regular mason sand because it's forgiving. I have to, I can't put a big board in there, so I have to put something thin. I'm just using this to back it up a little bit. And I could move it. And I covered the blacktop with plastic so nothing gets dirty. You gotta get some in down the cellar. So I'm using an old cold chute and I'm gonna get it down the cellar with this. Just like that. I'm down the cellar. You just gotta fill this in. So the old timers. When they poured cement down the cellar, it wasn't very thick. They used uh, they used a mortar sometimes, lime mortar. What I want to do is I want the cement to come up even. I don't want no overlaps. So I'm making a I'm making it kind of straight. So right down in here, see this? That's where the foundation stopped. There was no footer in the old days. There was no rebar. There was none of that stuff. You just dig down. You start your stone. This wall's been here over a hundred and some years.
as you get your concrete in, you go around your edges. You want all those rocks out of the way. I could, I could check out my line here to check it. This is the cement I use. Pea gravel. See how small the gravel is in there? It's easier to work with. And in some cases, I think it's better. Especially when you got to fill in holes in the cellar that ain't that deep. See? How small the rocks are? So it's not long later. It's only about 45 minutes when doing my final coat. It's about 85 degrees out. An hour later, I'm all done. Cellar, when you're, you're doing a smooth finish, you use a smooth finish trolley. See how flat it is? This is made to give it traction. This is to make it smooth. The smooth finish. You can see them trowels. I just finish it up here. Over a little bit of time. That's it. Well, I'm going to talk about that job a little bit, why I do things the way I do it. Here in northeastern Pennsylvania, usually you have to pour a 4,000 pound mix. If you're in California or Florida, it's a 3,000 pound mix. There they could pour it on dirt or they could pour it on sand and they could pour wider pads because the frost ain't lifting it up in the winter time. That's why I have to put that seal seal along the sides or an expansion. So when it does move up and down, it's not going to knock the plaster off. Also, you have to worry about the plow. He's going to be plowing the driveway. You don't want that pad up so high where the plow is going to hit the pad. Everything depends on where you live. And that's why a lot of times you hear me say, when someone asks me how to do something, I say, you got to ask the local guys because they're the guys who knows what works in their area. Uh, I used pea gravel there because I had to do it down the cellar. I didn't want thick gravel, I wanted something easy to work with. Our finishes around here are mostly common. We don't do a lot of stuff like they do in Florida or California where they're stamping it or they're doing fancy work because the water gets in it, it freezes and it busts it up in the winter. This is a picture of our weather in the winter time and you could see it, it's 37, then it's 25, then it's 34, and then the rain and the ice comes and it's 31. So what happens is it's like acid, and then they're out there throwing salt on it. Concrete, if you get 25 years out of it, you did really good. 35, it's usually time to replace it. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock, until next video.